Hey everybody, um, it's Kate Beaters. Hello. Um, oops. I want to say hi to everybody. And um, if you are here, please say hi. Let me know that you are there and you can hear me and all that good stuff. And um, yeah, okay, cool. So people can hear me. That's awesome. Excellent. Okay. So I, um, it's been a bit, and I'm really happy to be here with all of you and. Um, everyone's having a nice summer amidst all the, the um, pandemic. Um, and if you're here, you know, please say hi, let me know where you are, how you're doing, how, um, how you're settling in with the pandemic. Um, it's been kind of an interesting four months. I guess that's the, the adjective I'm using today, interesting. I mean, there's all sorts of words we could use, and I'm going to kind of stick with that. Um, you know, I, I know people who have been dealing with this situation in so many different ways. Uh, some people I know really have not been affected at all. I know some people who it's just kind of a matter of inconvenience, you know, vacations being canceled, things like that. I know other people who have had their hours cut or pay cut. I know people who've lost their jobs. Um, I know entrepreneurs who have lost lots of clients and lost lots of business. Um, and everywhere and in between all that stuff and I also know people now who are trying to juggle and do the homeschooling thing so it's lots of lots of stuff going on right now and you know there's some days honestly that I've got really great days like you know because if you know me you know I'm all about trying to find the opportunity and the challenge and I'll be like yes you know I've got this and I'll feel really good and other days you know <laughs> not, not always so good I have to kind of muster up and use all my resources and um, rely on my coaches to really kind of help me um, because, you know, it's, this is a very, very um, um, interesting time that we're all going through. And, you know, one thing um, that I started doing uh, a few months ago, you know, once we kind of started settling into the pandemic, uh, you know, and I'd see people, they were doing things like um, uh, making masks and donating them to first responders, and it really inspired me. I can't sew, but I was like, well, what can I do to give back? Because I know when I give back, I tend to feel more grounded and it gets me outside of me, you know, and so, so instead of me being in my head so much, I'm, I'm seeing more outward. And so I know that I am very, very good at teaching uh, stress reduction and teaching how to really ground and kind of focus and stay calmer during the day. So I donated my time and did a lot of uh, these uh, online workshops for frontline hospitals and you know, it was really interesting. I, you know, there were the doctors there and um, techs and nurses and admins and, you know, and helping them through all this because, you know, some of them, you know, what changed for them is if they were an admin, most likely they were then working from home. Uh, for the people who, you know, doctors, nurses and techs, people like that, what they were experiencing is often job changes. Um, they saw their hours being different, um, maybe different days. Um, a lot of times they were seeing their hours being expanded, um, what they were working. Uh, they also saw a shortage in the supplies they needed. I mean, and that we all, of course, saw in the news. And they saw a lot more death than they had really been seeing before. Um, and, you know, pressures and worries. You know, like, would they get sick? Um, or would they be a carrier and bring that home to their family? And, and um, you know, all the anxiety around there. And, you know, um, one person I talked to at a hospital, um, they were getting prisoners in because it was trying to run rampant in prison. So they were, and they were dealing with people from prison coming into the hospital. So lots of different stuff going on. And, you know, they're here, you know, you can imagine they'd be working, you know, 12, 14, 16 hour shifts. And then on their way home, they would want to stop at, stop at the market. And, you know, um, the market would have a line. They'd have to wait to get in. And then they get in and, you know, they go to the shelves where there are things that they wanted, like toilet paper, paper towel, cleaners, all that stuff. And it'd be empty. So you can imagine they were feeling lots of stress and overwhelm. So, I really uh, felt proud of myself being able to be able to give back um, and, you know, still still do that just to kind of help, you know, during this time. Um, I just think that's very important. And I also had a, um, a birthday party for my 16-year-old girl, Callie. Um, she turned 16 and we did it outside. We social distance and I'm not really much of a, a baker, at least not lately, so I got a cake and had it for my neighbors. We socially distanced, wore masks, all that stuff, and um, also brought one over to the MSPCA because they take such great care of my girl, and they were thrilled that that you know to have that dessert there. And so you know, I, I, what the other thing I've really been looking at and really want to focus on. This is kind of what I wanted to talk to all of you about during this time is that 
yes, there's, you know, I'm not going to diminish. There's a lot of really horrible things going on right now. And, and I'm not going to go there on this, on this training because, but I do want to acknowledge there is a lot going on, but there's also, um, we also have this, this new gift of, we've been given a lot of time and, you know, if, if before you were working and you were driving, you know, you no longer have your commute most likely. Or if you do, it's a whole lot faster. Um, if you were driving your kids here or there and all that kind of stuff, um, you're no longer doing that anymore. Um, uh, if you have less clients, you know, now you've got more time on your hands. And, and for me, I, you know, I was traveling a lot because I was going to a lot of, you know, out-of-state speaking gigs and spending a lot of time in the airport. So I don't have that travel time. So I have a lot more time. And I've really been using that time to um, to focus and say to myself because my business is, you know hit its ten year marker, which I'm very proud of because ten years for for an entrepreneurial business is a big deal, especially having a business that you know is successful and profitable and all that good stuff. And I've, I've had amazing opportunities and work with amazing clients, and really said, okay, so it's been ten years. What do I want to do next? You know, like how what do I what do I what am I really proud of that's going on, and what do I need to shift and change and, and grow and so I've really been taking this time, you know, using this gift to really think about, you know, kind of what's next. I know some word, people are using the word pivot, you know, um, but whatever word you choose to use, um, I kind of really talk, talk about more in expansiveness that instead of contracting, really being expansive this, during this time and really look at like, you know, so how do I, what's my next level of showing up? You know, how do I want to continue to be proud of the work I'm doing? So I've been doing things like um, I've been enrolling in courses. I'm actually taking one at Yale as well um, online. I've been doing, um, I signed up for a coaching program. I've also been, um, uh, what else have I been doing? I've been working more, more sessions with my coaches and, you know, because I needed it. And, and quite truthfully, one of the reasons I needed it is Governor Cuomo said this really cool line. He said, um, he said, we all need to start thinking outside the box because there is no box. And I love that. I was like, wow, this is great. And then I took it a step further and said, well, yeah, but we're all stuck inside the box. We need someone to help us see what's out there. So, um, I, you know, I really need their support. So I've been doing that to help me as I'm shifting and changing and growing and all that because I want to continue being able to give my best to, to my clients and my community. Now, one of my clients, um, interestingly enough, um, when this all started happening, you know, because of the school's closing, she then had to um, start homeschooling her kids. And of course, you know, nobody took lessons unless you're a homeschool professional. Majority of people had no clue on how to homeschool kids. So you can imagine, or maybe you actually experienced it, just kind of the chaos, trying to sort through it all and figure it out, plus her business and all that other kind of stuff. And so um, her coaching sessions initially during this time were really focused on, on helping her through that. And one thing I, I've really been sharing with my clients and if you've been to my events uh, over the years you know I talk a lot about setting intentions and deliberately creating and so I said to her you know look you've got this time right now and I know it was unplanned <laughs> um, and you know it's in, in you know your regular business is getting kind of messed up but you know you're never gonna have this time again this gift of this time and Right now, your kids are young. They want to do stuff with you. You know, before you know it, in a blink of an eye, they're going to be teenagers. And they're going to be like, Mom, you know, I need the keys to the car. Mom, I need some money. Or Mom, can you drive us here? Or Mom, I want to go spend the night with my friends. You know, and it's going to be all about that and less about, you know, family time. And we did the mindset work around it and because it was a big shift, right? Because this is all it just came on us. It's all so sudden. And she was able to to kind of ground into that. And this really wonderful thing has happened that she's really almost like fallen in love with her children again. Not that she didn't love them, but just taking it to a whole new level. And it's really, really exciting. Now, what's happened to take it a step further is that she's enjoyed this so much that she's basically said like, Kate, this is my new priority. My business is kind of taking a back seat here. And so I said, okay, that's all right. I said, but you've got to start to deliberately, you know, set intentions and deliberately, you know, create what is it that you, you want to have happen here? Because, you know, the summer's going to fly by. The kids will be, you know, supposedly be back at school. I mean, who knows? But supposedly that's the intention. Um, and you want to make sure that you're handling this the way you want because the days all roll into each other. I mean, you know how the big joke now is like, I don't even know what day of the week is because it all kind of seems the same. And you don't, I said to her, like, you don't want your summer to just like fly by and you're just kind of sitting there going like, 
you know, especially where her, her income is needed for her family. So with that, we were able to then do the work and help, help really set some intentions. So how does she merge this new love of wanting to spend this time with her kids along with the business that she does also love? You know, does that mean that she's working on weekends or not working on weekends or only working certain days of the week or not working nights? What does that all look like? Who is she working with? So really kind of doing some, some deep inner work and really kind of set, you know, getting on that new path of what you want to create. So that's really what I wanted to start sharing that message with all of you today is that we have this gift of time because all of us in some way or another have had our lives changed or shifted. And I like to find the opportunity in all this and really think about, you know, what what is new for you? What is your next step? What are you thinking of shifting and changing and growing? And I'd love if you want to post that here, you know, in this thread, tell me what you're thinking about, um, share it here. Or if you would rather, if you're, you know, share, you know, send it to me directly, you can email me info at katebeaters.com. Uh, that's info at katebeaters.com. And, um, you know, I'll respond back to you, but I'd, I'd love to hear like, what do you, what's, what are you changing? You know, maybe, you decide you want to work with different types of people or you want to market differently or you want a new position, you want to get new, involved with a new opportunity or you're realizing, you know what, I don't like how I've been doing it, I want to start doing it this way or I've been undervaluing myself or I've been doing this or I've been following people and I don't want to follow them anymore. You know, what, whatever the heck it is, I'd love to hear what's, what's up for you now. What are you focused on? So that way when September hits, even if you don't technically accomplish the whole thing, that you're on track, that you feel really good and really proud about where you are. That's how I want to feel about my life and I really want to encourage you to start thinking about that too. And I'd also love to hear what do you need most now? Not not a year from now or two years or five years from now, but what do you need most now? Like what's the answer to your to your most urgent questions that you really need help with that are going to help you on this hurdle? Um, I'd love to know what that is because, you know, I'm, I do a lot of Facebook live trainings, I write blogs, I write articles, I put out posts that maybe it's something I can answer for you and help you move along easier. And so I'd love to know what that is. So again, feel free to, to post or, um, or to email me info at katebeaters.com and, you know, share how I can help you because I, I want to be of best service to you all. And I just want to see if there's anything, um, else I want to add, um, Oh, hey, Jess, I see you're there, and Michelle, hi, everybody. So I, I would love to just know how I can best support you, and um, and please stay well, stay, <laughs> stay well, and, um, and, um, and start really thinking about what you want to create right now, what your intentions are, and again, let me know what's up for you, and I'm happy to help you. So until we meet again, until the next training, be brilliant. Bye, everybody.